How's it going, everybody? My name is Charlie Thompson, and I am the owner and founder of Apostle Studio. And in today's tutorial, we are going to be creating a spider's web, uh, mostly from copy nodes, um, a couple of fuses here and there, and we'll add a bit of a noise, so like um, attribute noise, and then we'll go in and we'll actually add in a poly wire uh, to give it a bit more detail. So if we just quickly escape from this, we're going to start from a new screen. Um, the way I get this black background is by pressing D, come in background, and you can change it from dark or from light to dark. So um, first of all, we're going to jump straight in and we're going to add in a geo a geometry node. And this is going to be our spider's web. OK, so we jump straight into this. Uh, now we need to add in a circle and a line. So first of all, I'm going to add in a line. Leave this to one side over here. I'm just going to move this up so we can see a little bit more. And we're going to add in a circle. OK, so if I just quickly get this back up. So the lines are going to be each one of these coming down. And the circle is going to be each one of these. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the line. And I'm going to add in a, a copy transform node so let's see that now nothing's changed we actually need to add this total up to 30 and we need to change the rotation of the Z axis to 90 uh, sorry 12 so we got all of them appearing there all 30 lines appearing um, which is exactly what we need so for the circle, we want to actually highlight it. We're going to change a couple of these settings. First of all, change it to polygon over primitive type. Um, add in a 90 rotation on the z-axis. We're going to leave the division at 6. But like we did with the line over here, we changed the rotations to 12. And we're going to do exactly the same here for the angle. And you'll show that we've got a little bit here, which is perfect. I'm going to click the select tool and I'm actually going to come up to the points and I'm just going to zoom into this real quick I'm actually going to just show you where the lines are within this so at the moment we've got this perfectly in line uh, the one dots there and the one dots there and we've got all these ones in between so if you highlight the ones in between we're going to actually move this down which will end up creating an edit node we're going to bring them down just a little bit then select the next one's in here and move them down as well. And then you want to select the last one and bring that down. So we've got a bit of like an arc here, which is perfect. For some reason, that's done that. So we don't want that. We want to make sure that we've done the Y axis. And um, yeah, that's perfect, I believe. Just leave it like that. Now that we've done that, we need to actually add in a copy uh, and transform node. We're going to select that and in this bit here we actually need to change this to 30 which is the same as the one over here as we need 30 different points um, if you select that again uh, we can get rid of this as well so we got this here and now we need to change the rotation to 12 as well and now as you'll see if we show that as well we've got each one added to each point on the outside now, we've only got the one bit of wire here, um, cobweb here. We need to add in a couple more inside. So if you do exactly the same again, add in a copy transform node, select this, and I'm going to say around about six for the moment. And you want to bring the uniform scale down. So I'm going to say roughly, I'd say roughly around about 0.7 will do fine. So also, if I show you the preview, I added a little bit of the cobweb actually coming out of this. So to do that, all you need to do is actually extend the length just like that. I'll probably put that to six or seven. You don't want it too crazy. We're also going to come off the points so you can see this. So we got the cobweb, but it is very flat. Um, and to actually change that, we need to add it in a bit more of like a noise effect and we also need to fuse all the rest of them together so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to add in a merge 
we're going to merge the first one here and the second one there. I'm going to show it up and we have all of them combined now. But before we actually get on to doing the attribute noise and uh, creating a bit of a different effect of this, as it is quite flat, um, we need to fuse our little loops together. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to add in a fuse. This will fuse each point together. Um, so one point there will fuse to the, that one there and so on and so forth. Because if we come in to add the noise, it will affect each one individually and you'll have just bits of polygon all around the, um, the Houdini scene. So if you fuse those together, they're basically linked as one there, another one, and another one, and another one, and so on and so forth. Um, next, what you want to do is actually add in a, another fuse, which will fuse the lines with the loops. So these lines here are now fused to the points in here. I am going to add a bit more points in here. I'm just going to bump it up to around about 16. And I'll show you what that does. Uh, you'll see each point here now. If I bump this down, you're going to lose a couple. You can add a couple. So uh, just do it roughly around about 17, 16. That'll then fuse these points to that point. And now we can actually go in and add some noise. So I'm going to start off with a point jitter. And just select that onto there and view it. It's got a bit crazy, which is perfectly fine. We just need to turn the scale down. So I would put it down to 0 0.005. Um, it's added a little bit of a noise. We can bump it up a tad. Uh, we might bring it up a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Maybe 0 0.07 will do nicely. So as you can see, it's still quite flat, which will add in an attribute noise in a second. But it has actually deformed it a tiny bit. We're going to go back to Polygon to see that. So it's deformed it a little bit so it's not too perfect, which is what we need. So now what we want to do is we want to add in a attribute noise. And just put that in underneath the jitter. We're going to select that and also it's it seems like it's adding color to this and we don't want to add color. We want to change this to P for position and as you'll know it has gone crazy and it's kind of come off its center origin there and it's come all the way over here uh, to change that we're just going to click center noise which is what we need and the altitude we can change we can bring this down all the way down and if you have a look at it a bit of an angle now change this up a little bit you'll see that it changes it's not so flat anymore. It's a bit more of a wave. So I'm going to leave it around about 0.14. Uh, you can mess around with this. You can even go into the uh, remap noise and change the minimum and maximum. Uh, it's personal preference, really. Now what you want to do is we need to change it to a polygon. So we're going to add in a polygon wire. This will add a bit more of a thickness to um, each line. So we just wait for this to load up. It's going to be absolutely massive. So we're going to have to actually change down the um, radius. So yeah, it's coming a bit crazy, which is what we expected. Um, I've also got the noise on, so we're going to take that off. Uh, now what you want to do is you actually want to change the scale radius of um, the polygons. This is going to take a little while. It's not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to go with 0. 0.5 for the moment. We're going to see how small that goes. And um, we don't want it too thick because we know for a fact that spiderweb isn't thick and we want we don't want to go too thin so we can't really see it very much. So I think that at the moment is perfect. You could probably go a little bit lower. Maybe bring it down to 0 0.02. Yep, I think that's perfect for us now. Um, we've got the noise in there. It's a bit distort, which is perfect now. Uh, we're just going to mess around with a couple of these polygon uh, wire nodes. So uh, the setting, sorry, we're going to change this to 20, the smooth point to 2, and the division and segment to 6. 
So here we go, we have our final output here. To actually finish this off, I'm gonna add in a smooth, just smoothen out the polygons. Um, and I'm also gonna add in a subdivision or subdivide. Um, now that's just, all that's done is it's added more detail to the polygon wire and we can also go back and just change this noise a little bit. I'm not so keen on how jittery that is. So I'm going to change this down to uh, maybe 0 0.005 because um, I didn't like the fact that these were kind of like overlapping each other. So I think that is a good amount of detail. Uh, we'll bring it back up to here and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so here is our final cobweb. So what we've done today is we basically covered how to use the copy transform, uh, tr copy and transform node. Uh, we've added in the fuse as well, uh, and a couple of attributes here, um, a couple of nodes down here that add in a bit of a noise effect to it. And we've also added in the poly wire to actually create a bit more of a thickness and finished it off with a subdivision to add a bit more detail. So um, that's it for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.